This is a pretty cool session. It's going to be uh, myself and Alina have been working together trying to uh, you know, come up with a tutorial that I guess incorporates a little bit of all of the stuff we're into, you know, um, open source hardware, uh, you know, software elements and, uh, you know, of course, biology. Um, so the biology is coming in through a fairly uh, unique and a kind of cool angle. It's uh, using a, a cell-free expression system, so I'll kind of talk to you a bit about that. So, like, what we're going to be using today is, like, it's quite amazing, really, you know, I'm sure you know what these guys are. They're jellyfish, these little invertebrates that float around the ocean. And uh, they're quite mysterious creatures, and they, you know, fluoresce and luminesce. And one of the things that's in here, uh, in these beautiful creatures, is uh, a little protein that, um, when excited with, uh, with blue light, uh, emits green light. I suppose from the point of view of, like, why that's relevant to us from the, you know, from the biology side is that, um, it's an extremely commonly used protein um, in all sorts of applications. So people, you know, use this protein to, you know, excite and, and luminesce in, in cell samples, you know, all across different uh, biological activities. So whether it be uh, studying, you know, mouse brains or, you know, studying uh, plants in situ or, you know, studying just basic bacteria, people use it as a marker. And what we're using today is effectively that machinery, this lovely protein producing machinery except pull straight out of cells so I suppose why would you do that that sounds kind of ridiculous doesn't it um, you know a lot of work for nothing but what's quite nice about it is because now you can't reproduce any of this um, replicating machinery um, because it's outside of a cell it's no longer technically a GM organism which is why I can do it here in the RCA you know we can make cool glowing fluorescent proteins um, but it's not biohazard or anything like that but you can get a concept of where um, you know how this project looks so you can see that there's you know repurposed lab tools so you know a UV light source you know these are PCR tubes or tubes that we're going to put our biological uh, resources into and a set of webcams to be able to image these and so we can stream them to the web and look at how our experiments are going um, and then of course Alina has developed um, a very nice interface between um, you know, very nice software and hardware interface to, you know, allow this to be visualized and allow this experiment to be um, kind of conceptualized. We will design our own biopixel display, so we will really start with the software to see what is even kind of like this little um, picture what we want to create. So we have an 8 per 8 pixel display and that is the constraint that we will work in. And then we have a little hardware where it actually shows us um, or predicts how we kind of like um, how it might look like, but also enables us actually maybe how to teach how we can then build it itself. It's all open source what we build. It's really easy available and it's e really easy to build. So we'll upload everything later on on Slack, and you can buy everything online mostly from Adafruit. I will upload also the little case that we made so you can build everything in a day for yourself. And what is inside is really just a LED matrix. Um, I do really love the NeoPixel ones because it has just one pin where you kind of like can easily control all the LEDs and there's a ground um, and a voltage. So just like power inlet and how to really drive everything. I think everybody is, uh, or like most of us might be um, familiar with Arduino. So I do love the small version, what is the feather version because it also allows me to talk to my phone. We will create two different 8x8 pixel pictures, okay. what we will stream to the world with our biopixels later. So you can now play around with this little device um, to really design in the, in the matrix the picture that you think is the coolest. We go for green today. Green and black, right? So black is kind of like we don't have a reaction at all. And green is like the GFP, like um, the jellyfish part that Tom was talking about. This is literally just the, um, the, the circularized DNA, and circularized DNA is called a plasmid, so it's just a closed loop. And if you can get it right at the bottom, what you don't want to be doing is touching stuff like, uh, like your hands are covered in these things called RNases that um, you know, break down RNA, so they'll stop the juice working. So. So you can give them a good tap as well. Like, we want it all to be sterile, right? So that there's nothing else going on in the tubes. So you can see we keep these closed, we keep these closed, we open it up. Just fairly straightforward. You just pop in, deliver it, take it out, close it when you're done. Like, you know, that sort of stuff. Like. 
点到跑一跑。So you can kind of like now follow to see if it actually works when you create it. So I will send you the link online.